Kirby Dunn retires on Friday. She's ending a 23-plus year run heading a nonprofit funded by the United Way called Home Share Vermont. They try to match homeowners with some extra space to share with individuals who really need housing but can't afford Vermont's market rents. They are all carefully screened and they all pay something in addition to helping around the house or simply providing companionship. Take a guess how many successful stories, successful matches they've pulled off. This morning, we chat with Kirby Dunn. You're about to sail off into the sunset. Sailing off pretty soon. After um, almost a quarter century at Home oh, Share Vermont. That, that sounds really long. <laughs> well, um, congrats. I, I wanted to ask you about Home Share Vermont, particularly in today's housing environment in Vermont. Um, it's not a landlord-tenant arrangement, so what, what do you call it? So we call it home sharing, uh, and it's really about two people helping each other. So someone who has a spare room in their home uh, offers to rent it to someone else who's looking for a home who might provide a little bit of help with sharing expenses or might provide a little help around the home, uh, maybe helping mow the lawn or walk the dog or whatever two people really agree on. But it's really about two people helping each other and it's really about trying to find that right fit, that right person. Um, and we want them to be thought of more as a friend or a companion than than a tenant or a landlord. A business relationship. Right. Yeah, more of a personal yeah. relationship. And in your time uh, as executive director, how many of these, uh, we call them a match, mm -hmm. Matches. have you uh, been able to engineer? So since I've been here, uh, we did a little math uh, before you came and added up the numbers. So we've made over 1,600 matches uh, since, I've, since I've been here. Uh, how long do they typically last? The average is about 18 months, about a year and a half. But it's it's a month to month arrangement. So. That's right. So people can decide, you know, life life uh, throws curveballs all the time. So people aren't locked into anything. It's really a month to month arrangement, and and uh, things happen in people's lives and and uh, move on. How did this get started in our state? Yeah, so we were one of the first home sharing programs in the country. Uh, it started in 1982 uh, through the Retired Senior Volunteer Program. Yeah, I remember. Um, RSVP. And there were a group of volunteers that were really concerned about <laughs> young people needing affordable housing in Burlington and uh, a growing aging population of homeowners who were having a harder time sort of doing things around the home. So they developed this program from scratch uh, with some support from uh, the UVM sociology department, several uh, professors there uh, got involved and helped develop uh, the forms and the structure and, and they actually uh, studied the, pro the first five years of the program um, and changed it as it went along. So it's really a homemade Vermont kind of story. The, uh, and in many cases, these are seniors who want to stay in their home. Yeah, at first it was exclusively seniors. Uh, but over the years, we've opened up the program to people of any age or any income who want to share their home, especially in light of the affordable housing crisis that has just continued to grow. Um, so anybody can really share their home. Um, if they have a spare room and if they're open to, you know, charging an affordable rent uh, to someone. Um, Do you uh, suggest um, a, an amount? Yeah, so our, our maximum rent in the program is uh, $650 a month. Mm -hmm. um, and in the more rural areas, it's $550 a month. Do you have many more people coming to you seeking housing than uh, willing to share their home? Yes, especially in the last uh, couple years. It has really grown almost exponentially. This year we've had 35% more applications than last year. Most of those are people in desperate need for housing. You have dozens of people looking what? Uh, we, we would have hundreds uh, at any given moment. Looking for a place? Looking for a place. And uh, We so might have 40 or 50 
homes through our seven county service area at that in a moment in time. So how do you determine who's a good match? And, and that, that's really on you, right, at, at Home Share Vermont? Well, we start the process, but it's really up to the participants themselves to decide. So we start with, of course, the host. We have fewer of those. Um, and we spend a long time really getting to know who they are, what they're looking for. Um, and then we try to see who we might have available that meets those criteria. So, you know, just to start with, they're charging a certain rent, the home's in a certain location, there's going to be issues around pets or no pets, smoking, no smoking, maybe gender preferences, maybe p food preferences if it's a vegetarian household or, you know, so we, we go through all these things around lifestyle and trying to find the most compatible persons that we might have. So we would uh, typically call the host first, the person who has a home to share, and we'd share with them who we think we've meets their criteria, and they decide who they might be interested in meeting, um, if anyone that we have at that time, and then we would contact those people, and we would arrange just an introduction where they get to meet socially and, and see what they think. What about you know, background checks, not to assume the worst, but I mean, how no. do you know who you're dealing with? Yeah. Um, so we, we have a pretty strict program around um, background checks. So we do six different background checks, um, which include abuse registries, criminal history, fraud registries. Uh, so we use six different uh, background checks that we do on every person that comes through the program. Um, and they have to have uh, no criminal history of crimes against person or property to, mm -hmm. to be eligible for the program. Then we do reference checking. So we need at least three or four uh, character references that will speak to person's lifestyle and character and recommend them for the program. Uh, so if we don't have that from people, you know, they don't move forward in the, in the program. Um, but if we do, and most people do, um, you know, then it's really trying to figure out that compatibility thing, you know? Do they like to watch Fox News or are they a VPR person? You know, do they uh, like pets or not pets? You know, there's just so many things and we really try to find something that really clicks between people. So it's more than, it sounds like a business relationship between the host and guest, isn't it? Yeah, we want it to be a friendship. Um, um, we want it to be two people really helping each other because they want to help each other um, and that they enjoy being around each other. That's the goal. 1,600 matches in, in, yeah, your, in yeah. your years here. That must be satisfying. It's really satisfying. I mean, you know, it's a, it's, it's a hard thing to do, and it's a hard thing to do well. Um, but when these matches happen, they're like small little miracles in people's lives. You know, they're really life-altering if you can really make that right match. What do you need more of? <laughs> Well, we need more uh, people who are willing to share their homes. Um, and we also need more guests, you know, who are looking, because um, people who are looking for housing are only looking for, you know, a certain period of time, so they might need something the next 30 days. So if we don't have the right thing for them at that time, you know, they're moving on to something else probably. So, um, so yeah, we're always looking for more people who are interested in the, in, in the program. and and seeing if we can find the right fit for them. And this extends now uh, well beyond Chittenden County. That's right, when I started it was just Chittenden County. Uh, so then we went to, uh, let's see, Grand Isle County, then we went to Addison County, then we went to Franklin County, and now we're in uh, the three counties in Central Vermont, Lamoille, uh, Washington, and Orange. And we're um, just getting ready to go into Windsor County. Um, so yeah, we've, we've grown. Our goal is to eventually be statewide. Uh, we're not there yet. But it will not be with Kirby Dunn. It won't, no. Looking forward I'll to... I'll be a donor. Looking forward to uh, what's next? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to take a little bit of a break, uh, get, get my energy back and, and uh, see some friends. And uh, yeah, then we'll see what happens next. Thanks for telling uh, the story. Thank you. And good Thank luck. You, Thank you. Thank you so much.